Hey everyone, welcome back to a sim racing experience. My name is Jose and I'm a sim racer here in Miami and welcome to my office slash sim racing room tour. You're keeping me on Yeah, I'm strapped in Stuck in a Before I get into the room tour, I just wanted to say that this room has been instrumental in me getting to where I'm at today. It's been the most creative space I've ever been in and it's been the space that has allowed me to create what I've been able to do over the last two years, creating my business. And it's allowed me to build a business that I've been fortunate enough to be able to say that it's been successful um, over the last two years. So we'll get started over here. So starting over here on the wall of guitars, these guitars have been with me now 15, 16 years. This one here has been with me 19 years. This was the first one. And guitar was kind of the first artistic form um, that I took to and I've still picked the guitar up every now and then uh, but these guitars definitely are, are very special to me so they're always going to be with me over on this side um, just a, a massive whiteboard for my business I also have the entire month scheduled out a lot of videos planned ahead um, I'll get to the PC in a minute but this the one wheel this is cool for anybody that likes motorsport I think and there's a, uh, a karting, a go-kart wheel in there. So that's pretty cool. And the one wheel itself is amazing. Uh, my main rolling bag here, my only rolling bag really. Um, and this is where all the lighting goes um, and just lighting stands and modifiers. I take that to um, when I go do um, photography or video at restaurants. Um, here, um, one of the last pieces of canvas that I got printed beautiful roasted chicken there that is how that came out of the oven there wasn't anything done to that and it was incredible and behind all of the art pieces in the office i have um just backdrops behind there for food photography and product photography and moving over here to the desk this desk has changed from a small three foot wide desk to an l desk to now this nice little ikea setup it's an up and down desk and i'm using two 32 inch ben q monitors this one's on an arm that's attached to the desk. This one's over on just the uh, factory mount. And coming down, I have the loop deck for editing. I edit hundreds of pictures a week, so this thing was amazing when I found out about it. And they've recently added support for video and it's cut down my video editing in half. It's incredible. Um, I can actually go in and just with rotary knobs, kind of like changing brake bias and whatnot, but. Um, you can change contrast and exposure and all your settings. You can just change right there. It's pretty cool um, iPad Pro for just um, I use this for like detail editing on pictures um, MacBook Pro I just recently moved over from the iMac over to the MacBook Pro This thing's great now because I'm able to go see clients a lot more and you know do work directly with them It makes them feel good about it and it makes them more involved with the project and at the end of the day it makes it almost makes it easier being able to do something directly with them. Um, although sometimes that can that can end to, to you know to the project taking a little bit longer. But you know that's okay. They're happy, and that's what that's what keeps us going is is making people happy. So the iMac, cool thing about the iMac, um, this was the iMac that started my company, and a friend of mine had had an iMac, and I had seen that he had built a successful company out of his. Out of his house so him by him by me seeing him work on this 27 inch iMac it was almost symbolic to me that I wanted to get one um, just to kind of feel that and push myself to work harder and I know that that sounds ridiculous having to go out and buy an iMac to feel that but in all honesty um, I don't go out very much unless it's for work I don't have many friends so I do spend a lot of time in this room and you know, I, I work 24 seven and this is what I chose to do. And, you know, this is what I chose to build with, with what I, with, with, and this is what I chose to build with, you know, the success that I've had. I just want to continue to build and having this room has allowed me to do that. Moving on over here. I just have some extra gear. These are really cool. These obviously don't get used, but I shoot a lot with vintage props, so having these in the shot themselves is very, very cool. And 
As a matter of fact, let's change the light here. There we go. This light's usually blue when I'm recording and streaming. Um, but it's cool because we can just kind of uh, change the white balance uh, live right there. Um, I've got the uh, Mavic Pro drone that I use a lot for you know, just doing like um, overhead stuff for restaurants. Um, lots of boxes for all the gear and stuff. And coming down over here, my backpack where I keep all the cameras when I'm going out to a restaurant shoot or something. And down here, just boxes and boxes just full of stuff. Um, props. And this is my dad's helmet and my helmet. Uh, this one's 25 years old. This one's uh, probably about 27 years old. Um, so these are very, very cool pieces. Um, coming over here, I'll show you the, uh, the light right now. So this light, it's the Palsy Buff Einstein and it's just running the modeling lamp. It's on the lowest power right now. Um, I do turn it up when it's going to uh, record or stream or something. Um, behind the rig, I have this just small cart that I picked up. It's got books on it. The cart has been used a lot in photography um, just as a backdrop. Looks really cool. Um, a Ronin for stabilizing the camera if I ever need to, which is a huge help. And a clock based on a video I saw this morning actually from Matt Malone. He had put up a video talking about having a clock put up in the office so that he doesn't miss a race. So I remembered I had that and now it's set up there. And then coming to the rig, everything has been set up completely intentional so that it's completely efficient and as stress-free and as easy as possible for me to just sit down. I can control all of the lighting in the room from the iPad. I can control the white balance of the room from the iPad. Um, and then everything, you know, doesn't really need to move. It's all pretty stationary, so it, it's always where it's at. Um, I just picked up this Logitech mouse and the Stream Deck just a few weeks ago, Fanatec Shifter, the two monitors here that I've talked about before, and that's either just for telemetry, OBS, or YouTube, the main monitor. And then over here is where the main camera goes, just with another live view monitor there so that I can see what I'm doing. So that's about it for the room tour. I hope some of you found it cool or, or beneficial. Um, if you did, I would hugely appreciate a like. And if you want to continue to see more of this kind of sim racing content, um, I'm also going to be talking a lot about mental health on this channel. And I've dealt with a lot of mental health issues and have found sim racing to be the best outlet for it. And I'm fortunate enough to have all of the tools to put everything together to get this message out. So if, you know, sim racing or mental health, or if you just want to come and hang out, you know, feel free to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. See you later.